Hi guys and welcome to my amateur guide to putting. Now I know what you're thinking, how the hell can this guy who's a amateur tell me how to put? Well most of you guys out there are amateurs and hopefully I can tell you tips that, can, that has made my game better and hopefully it can make your game better. Now I know you get a lot of tip, putting tips from professionals and of course the great professional is no doubt about it, professional coaches. But from an amateur point of view, I can relate to amateurs of course. I'm a 10 handicapper, my handicap's come down over the years, slowly but surely, which is good. I'm on three holes, hole 9, 10 and 11 at my own golf course, North Manchester Golf Club. Uh, luckily there's two par three, so it's not a long vlog, which uh, you'll be quite happy about. But anyway, when I get to the green on each hole, I'm going to give you a tip of what's made my game better. Let's just check what I've got going in. Okay, so I've got 168 yards. I'm probably going to use a six iron, a little bit of wind into today. So I'm going to use a six iron, get it down there. When I get down there, I'm going to give you the first tip. So guys, as I'm walking down to the first oak ball, um, I'm going to give you another tip as I'm walking down. So basically, what I see in a lot of amateur golfers is, by the way, I look pretty cold in there and it is cold today. Uh, but anyway, is when, when before you when, before you go to go into a tournament, um, make sure you're using the same ball. Like you know when you're doing your your, your putting strokes on the putting green, make sure you use the same ball. Uh, I see in a lot of amateurs. People are using different kind of balls, different style of balls, and you're thinking to yourself, well, you're not going to get a, a correct feel off the club. Um, you're not going to get used to going into that tournament using that ball. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, let you know that one. Make sure you use the same ball. Very simple, that, I know, um, but you still do see it a lot out there. So, guys, I've got my putter out. Now, this putter, I've had it for 10 years, and the reason why I've still got it and I was, I was on the verge of changing actually to an even roll, uh, ER2B I think they're called, uh, which is a beautiful looking putter, but it's not all about looks, it's about how you actually use it. But it's still in very good condition, as you can see, um, but I use it for a number of reasons. First of all, it's an old Odyssey 2 ball, I've obviously changed the, uh, the putting grip on it, but it's an Odyssey 2 ball, and the reason why is because as an amateur, or as a, as a high handicap amateur, I needed the mo the best aids, that the best putting aids and the best uh, equipment aids that I could imagine to try and make my putting much easier. So yeah, the, I, I believe that the Odyssey 2 ball, which has obviously two balls and then obviously your ball in front and also uh, two stroke lines as well, you was kind of seeing a, a visual, uh, shall we say, trajectory uh, of the ball going into the hole. Obviously you still need to read the green correctly and stuff, but I believe that not just using the same ball, which I told you a minute ago, but also having the right equipment. Make sure you get fitted for a putter. Um, I know it sounds stupid that getting fitted for a putter, but it's actually becoming more common these days um, to amateur golfers. And there's more machines coming out these days that can help you, guide you getting the right putter. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I do pre-round, pre-tournament on the putting green. I actually use a, another ball with a tee. Um, I'll just see if you can see it. I'll put, I'll put it in there like, like you would on a tee, tee bed. And what I do is, instead of putting into the holes, the, the natural putting, uh, putting green holes with the little flags, I actually put into this tee. And what it does, it, it controls your accuracy and it also controls your distance. And the, the aim of the game is this, and you've probably seen this before, is that if you hit that tee and that ball stays on the tee, that is a perfect shot. That is going right in the middle of the cup. Um, perfect distance, perfect control. And even if it falls off slightly, Course, it's probably still going to go in now you probably think to yourself well why don't you just put into a hole but this is all about distance, distance control and for an amateur distance control is key because okay accuracy is key as well but distance control is key because it's all about getting it as close to the hole in as least strokes as possible of course for an amateur without it knocking off just like that so here we go, a little 30 footer away. Um, a few leaves on the green, but I can't bother moving them, too cold. Anyway, uh, let's see what I can do. I'll 
这个。Manchester, stroking it's two. You've probably seen it before in my previous vlogs, but it's a, it's, a, it's a perfect hole for a natural drawer. Unfortunately, I'm a natural fader, uh, but you'll see when we get to the next hole, I'm going to give you another tip on the green. Right guys, as you can see I've bombed that ball. Um, I'm going to be using the old trusty, the old trusty five wood. Uh, I've still got about 200 in, you see, so I'm going to use a five wood. Get up there. Yeah, we go. A little bit fadey out to the right, but uh, should be about, I don't know, 20 yards off the green, hopefully. So guys, as you can see, it came up short, uh, but that's my life in general, really short. Uh, but yeah, basically, I'm going to try and bump it. If you can see, I'm going to try and bump it into that mound, or just over it, and hopefully it'll run, it'll run down into the hole. It's on a bit of a slope, you see, so not a bit of a slope, it's actually a big slope. So anyway, let's see, a little pitching wedge, just to give me that, uh, that less of a loft, really. I'll just try and bump it in and run it. I'm very happy with that. Can you see that? So guys, I'm about 10 foot away here and this is another little tip that I believe makes me has made me so much better. If you do a good approach into the green and you are 10 foot or less away, what I do is I kind of visualise, to, I actually look at two uh, sections of the actual putt at the same time. Now you're probably thinking, what the hell are you on about Danny? But it's really helped me out. And what I do is I, I look down at the ball of course, but I also look at the hole at the same time and you think to yourself, well how can you do that? But, but and obviously don't hurt your eyes while doing this, but if you're only 10 foot away or less, I can kind of see the hole as well at the same time with my eye, kind of looking at it in the corner. So if you look down that hole, obviously you're doing your, you're doing your looks as well, but as I'm looking down there now, I can still see the hole, if you know what I mean. Uh, a bit strange, but all that matters, certainly with amateur golfers, is that you're getting a two stroke, you're getting a two putt, or less of course. Anything two stroke and above is, is kind of, this is kind of defeating the object. So try and try and learn that. Now hopefully I can try and get this one here now while I'm doing it, but let's see. So if you can hear me, looking at the ball, I have got a, I have got a big uh, right to left here, but anyway, looking at the ball, all at the same time. Strange and all, but you'll see. See, that doesn't matter. It's a two put. Well, I think it's a two put. One sec. It, I know it sounds strange that, very strange as well, uh, and of course it all depends how tall you are as well. The taller you are, the more you can probably see. <laughs> uh, so that's why I'm only, I can only see more or less 10 foot or less, because uh, I'm only 5 foot 6. Okay guys, final tip coming up. It's the last one, it's a par 3, hole 11 here at North Manchester Golf Club. Let's just check what I've got in. I've got 128 yards in. Here we go guys, 9 iron. A uh, bit of wind with as well, so I'm going to go pretty easy on this swing to be fair, but anyway, let's see if we can get close to the hole.
Right guys, I've come pretty low level for this one because it's getting a little bit windy. But, my final tip is this. Turn your putting stroke into a match play format. Now you probably think to yourself, what is this guy on about? But, if you turn your stroke into a match play format, and what I mean by that is, getting your first stroke into gimme range, you'll reduce your card within a year. There's no doubt about it. This is the, probably the tip that reduced my handicap the most is when I'm taking that first stroke on the putting green, turn it into a match play format, gimme give gimme give gimme give range. Now it doesn't matter how far your put away is, get it to the hole. I'm gonna try and miss it on purpose but get it to the hole so it's in gimme range. So let's see. See and it also if I do get within gimme range it means that I've got a certain par instead of a bogey. shows you that I've got a power in here that could have been a bogey because I'm not concentrating I'm not uh, I'm not kind of visualizing that hole a lot bigger um, and yeah I, I hope that, that I think that tip is probably the one that's helped me out the most in regards to reducing my handicap because when it all comes down to stroke play medal or Stableford if you do turn it into a stroke obviously we all want to drain that first put of course we all want to drain that first put but sometimes you know if you do it like that certainly a high I think you'll reduce the handicap uh, within a year, within a year or so. Um, what you also seen there as well is another little tip, um, and I know most of us do it, but there is amateurs out there that don't. Uh, and I, I, I actually didn't when I first started. Is cleaning your ball, cleaning your ball, lifting it up, cleaning it, putting a marker behind it, cleaning it, and also then lining it back up, giving you a line uh, into the hole from the ball. Now obviously I've got a putting aid as well with my putter, but every aid will count. I've just hit over a thousand subscribers which is crazy because I've only got about 30 uploads, 30 odd uploads. Um, so it is really really appreciated. I'm going to try and give some more giveaways on, on my channel soon. There is still a giveaway until the end of November actually uh, which is uh, try and beat me on Top Tracer. If you've got a local Top Tracer near you go there try and beat me which I think was one f getting within my ball uh, one foot seven inches I think which is which is easy because you can have as many balls as you want, have as many goals as you want, is it? Give it a go and you can win a great prize. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope these tips help you out and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.